In this video, let's turn our attention to canceling subscriptions now that we've got it all set up to take subscriptions. Real quickly on the subscription page, just go ahead and make sure that this uh, apply max width when stretched is checked. Uh, do that for these ones as well. I think actually 200 on these ones. And then last, just a small thing here, change this to 40. And that kind of keeps the height of all these the same. So just some good UI best practices there. And then to start off for our pay, um, this you know canceling subscription process, we're gonna wanna create a page. And so that's what I'm doing from the top left, just going to create page. And I'm gonna call this mobile subscription and then MGMT for management. And I'm gonna clone it from this mobile payments, um, which is really nice because we're still gonna be working in the world where it's important to note this uh, UID on the end of our URL here that, um, okay, so I'm in this mobile subscription management. I can go over to the workflow and I can see that this set state thing carried over from the other one. Now, a lot of these, I won't need that, won't need this. Um, so let's see, there's a close button here. Maybe we'll use that, I don't know. But basically, let's go ahead and start uh, deleting these form fields. We won't need any of that. Uh, what will we need? Let's see. Let's go with. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab all of this and just bring it up to right about here. If I misclick on one of these, then it all goes badly. But looks like is today a lucky day? Nope. So 81, so everything just needs to be moused up one. And then this one will just drag and it should lock in. Let's go ahead and make sure to center these. Now that we've repositioned them, uh, sometimes that can yep, be off by a little bit and that will break, not break, but just uh, it can, you know, uh, make it so that the responsive engine isn't working like you would anticipate it to. So, okay. Uh, with all of these updated then, let's let's make a little bit of room for a, another button. And we're gonna copy and paste that. And so what we're gonna say here, basically this is a cancel subscription page and we're gonna allow people to cancel their subscription. Let me go ahead and grab this uh, gray color. But we're gonna kinda do something like, uh, let's see, cancel subscription and then we'll say here keep subscription if we're going to give them the option to cancel we'll have them think twice is the point i want to make so this one starts off at 240 goes to 280 this should go to 300 then okay and that was that's looking good so basically uh maybe we'll say subscription portal no, nah, details is fine. Okay, so receipt email. And let's go ahead and this is, this is gonna be group subscription management. And all right, so we've got basically the rough look of what a page will look like when somebody loads up the subscription management uh, from a link from the library which we'll create in the following video but basically we want a few things to happen here and let's talk about those and let's make those happen what we want to have happen let's see here's a failed payment we don't want that how about this payment processing we'll say uh, cancellation processing and then we'll recenter that here and we'll call this a uh, group no group cancellation group cancel processing and then let's go ahead let's see what we got here a failed payment um, let's let's call this one group confirm cancellation because what we want to have happen is when someone hits uh, this button to cancel it. We don't want to cancel right away. We actually want to um, show them a pop-up to like confirm that this is the action they mean to do. And so what we're gonna do 
is for this we'll say confirm cancellation and then we'll make yeah, two buttons here and this one will say cancel subscription so let's go ahead and make this like 140 perhaps or 150 and then we'll do the same here that looks what well, we got 16 there and 17 there that looks good and then we're going to give this one that same orange color that we use on all of our other stuff and then we'll say keep subscription. So, you know, we're doing kind of the things that uh, visually indicate or, or visually um, encourage someone to stay with their subscription and not cancel it. But obviously um, that's just kind of normal practice for how to run the user interface of these types of uh, decision trees for uh, yeah, for, for what users experience here. So when they hit cancel subscription then, what we want to have happen, let's go ahead and when keep subscription, we don't want anything there when, all right, these might be mislabeled. So this is keep subscription, button cancel subscription, nope. Uh, one of these might be in, you know, I'm just gonna delete these and start from scratch, okay. So if they want to keep the subscription, actually we haven't dealt with that case yet. Let's copy and paste this. Group keep subscription confirm. And we will back this into place and center it horizontally. And then we'll say something along the lines of uh, let me just grab a piece of text here. And we'll want to have happen. If this is confusing, don't worry. <laughs> we're getting we're getting somewhere with all of this. Um, where did that extra piece of text go? Here it is. And group keep conscription confirmation. Okay, cool. There we go. We can see that it turned red, so we're inside of here. And now if I navigate to here, I've got some text copy and pasted that I'm going to paste into here. So your subscription remains intact. And I'll just bring this up so that, um, I don't know, should we go like 1.2, 1.3? Or can we, yes, okay, that's what I want. I'll just say back. And then we'll say, uh, subscription confirmed. Or whatever, you know, obviously feel free to edit any of this text, I'm just kind of going off what is uh, popping in off, off the top of my head for what it might say here. And I feel like this one should be centered because that looks very nice. 23 pixels there, 27, 25, 25. Okay, so subscription confirmed. So now let's go back to our story on this main panel. If they keep a subscription, I'm gonna do this one because it's the easiest one, and then we'll go down the other one. So uh, start edit workflow. What do we wanna have happen? We just want to show that thing we just created with that extra text and took a moment of just, you know, subscription. So when they click this keep subscription, you could say, you could say like, yay, or whatever, you know, um, some kind of celebratory <laughs> thing. Your subscription remains intact. Navigate back to the app where you'll have, let's say done. Because I don't want it to be confused with navigating back with that as a back button. So okay. Now next up, cancel subscription. 
on here on the main page. When this is pressed, what do we want to have happen? Let's first off show this kind of like uh, group confirm, cancel subscription. So that's all it's gonna do, it's just gonna show the pop-up. And then when that pop-up shows, uh, if they wanna keep their subscription, we're just going to go ahead and hide the this group uh, confirm cancellation. But if they go ahead and they decide to cancel their subscription off of, you know, after clicking it once and then, you know, confirming now that they really want to do this, what should we have happen? Well, let's go ahead and show this processing one. So we've got a cancel processing, so cancellation processing. That's step one. And then let's start off with our actions here. And I'm going to do a search for cancel. So here you can see I find this one that looks just like this, stripe.js subscription cancel. And that's what we want to do. We want to cancel. Well, what do we want to cancel? We got to go and we got to find our user who's going to cancel it. And again, we've got that nice uh, user ID stored here in our URL when we pass it to the, here. So we can know that we have found this user. It's a list of one that it returns. So we say first item and then we go and we get the Stripe subscription ID out of here. Prorate, and we're just gonna say no. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to say yes, you know, like, oh, here's $8 back or whatever. Just if someone cancels, they can uh, enjoy the benefits of their subscription up through the end of the date, because that seems to make the most sense, and it's, you know, um, a kind of a standard thing. Like, if you were to unsubscribe from any any app in the App Store these days, seems like it, it works that way. So, all right, so that would be that. Uh, next up, we would want to do a little bit of a hide on this uh, main management area group, and then we would want to um, also make sure to hide our this cancellation one, and then we'll go ahead here and we'll just take a moment to do a step with this where we will make changes. So uh, data, make changes to a thing. The thing we're gonna change is a, is not, uh, not the current user. We're gonna do a search for a user to change. And again, uh, grab the unique ID, this same filtering mechanism, where the unique ID will equal the user ID from here. And the thing changed, the first item of it. What, would, what do we wanna change about this person? Well, we're gonna change the paint subscription to no. So, you know, they might actually stop paying you in Stripe, but if we don't update it in our system, we're not going to know that, um, you know, they should no longer receive access to our stuff because they've stopped paying. Okay, uh, after that one, we are going to do, we're going to go to navigation, add a pause before the next action, and change this one to a 20. This is a 20 second pause. Why this pause? Uh, you know, when we send this out to go to Stripe and say, hey, cancel this, Stripe's just going to kind of go off and do their own thing and then cancel it, and we actually don't get an answer back. So this 20 seconds just ensures that there's enough time, and if somebody, you know, uh, is wanting to cancel and, and just confirm it visually, they'll, they'll kind of hang out, just be like, well, it's taking a little longer than normal. We're really not trying to do anything that uh, is, a, is a poor user experience here, but we want to give enough time for the thing to, to do what it needs to do. So uh, let's see, we've we've hit that one, we've hit the back group. Now this whole processing thing has been spinning this whole time. We are going to do an element actions and we're gonna hide the processing one. And then last but not least, we're going to show the uh, group. Let's see, we have payment success. We haven't updated this. We haven't touched this since we've duplicated it. So I'm gonna say this sort of success uh, so this is going to be group subscription successfully canceled. And then what are we going to say here? We're going to say this. Thanks for subscribing with us. It was great to have you. We loved having you, yada, yada. Um, please come back anytime you would like type of thing. Uh, and then we also inform the, the person that their, their access remains until the final end of their date. Uh, successfully canceled.
Okay, so that's it. So that has us set up with the whole flow. Let's, uh, in, in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it, and then we're also going to build the link from the profile to this page, which is the final step to uh, finish up all of our payments work here in this course. See you in the next video.